subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates actually i had called sir for the che- official cheer for india song and i had worked with sir in la about a year and a half ago for another project uh it was just for a day and a half but uh so made me feel very comfortable uh and he didn't make me feel any less of an artist and i think that shows his humility and how gracious he is um and from that day itself uh, uh i felt like i had found a mentor that i really didn't have before um so uh, yeah i called him and uh, he very graciously said that yeah i would uh, love to do this and um he said uh, you know send me a couple of concept ideas that you may have for the song so i sent him a couple of concept ideas and uh, that's where the entire process started really um so yeah that's how the whole thing started uh and then uh, it's been a collaboration in the name of collaboration because we all were around the, around the world uh so that's how the whole thing started and you know it's the official cheer for india song for our athletes um so it's an honor for me uh and the bigger honor for me is to be working with sir uh and uh, it's a huge milestone for me and i've learned a lot i think training yourself your mind is the most exactly. important exactly because there's so many different ways to attack your you know emotion and yeah. your drive so if you can train your mind you can you can do anything you can do sports you can do music because one tweet or one email or one sms or somebody saying something negative can completely make your energy so you need to have a mental virtual trash where you throw all that stuff and say no nope, i'm not going to listen to it i'm not going to give up i'm going to do how, how do you deal with negativity i know a lot is thrown at you <laughs> all of us all of you. i personally think there is i always see the light at the end of the tunnel and i feel like there is goodness in everybody and then we just go towards that and all the everything is forgiven when 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 you do something admirable and when you do something which is noble and yeah how best can we combine both these emotions of sport and music to create a larger impact to bring indian society together and also build a sporting culture i think sports is it's connected to the progress physical progress mental progress psychological progress and it unites people it could also divide people because when you go jingoistic but i felt like uh, a person who was even from the age of 11 i would just be in music and i missed sports because i was in the studio sports at the time so i uh, my only thing was probably you know other things like kite and cycling and, and all the stuff when my now my son plays you know um basketball and i said please go <laughs> you you don't have to do music for now and then just just play now and get your body in shape and have fun i never had he can he, and, he able to do better music than you but he can do better basketball than you <laughs> <laughs> music is something which uh, it comes in right you know the more deeper you go into life the more you you dwell deep it comes to you it's not like people are born with music i I was not born with music. I was born in a musical family, but it was my choice. Like how Ananya has made music a choice, I had to go deep because my mother made the choice for me, and so I believe that what my mother made is good for me, and then I went deep into it. So that's how I evolved. So it's uh, you know I I would rather have people play a lot of sports than go into other bad habits like vices and other stuff because it distracts all the stuff. It gives you. an emotional outlet and the void is filled in so i feel like it's a great idea definitely combining music and sports and that's one of the reasons why i think um i've done a lot of movies now already lagan then this pele edit which is not even our culture but i got uh, lucky to do that movie and then uh, now hindustani way foot song and I don't even think twice uh, should I do again no so like let's there'll be another way there'll be another expression let's try that Rahman sir uh, everybody knows that music is therapeutic music can be therapeutic uh you are also a spiritual person uh you thought spiritually all your life uh have you used music for therapy for yourself as well Yes I think um if you look at all the beautiful music it is it comes from a place which is special and whether you take uh, hindustani music or 
uh, Beethoven or um, you re- read stories about how Beethoven used to come out of the room crying that did I do this or uh, you know why did I become the Zaria for this why was I chosen for this and we all have that uh, in Hindustani classical is another drug actually if you if you go on on a rag like Yemen or Bhatiar or Bhairavi sometimes you feel like elated you feel like this world is not worth it because you are in a higher level of realm singing you know that rag and uh, Kavali and for me the, the most uh, the two artists who suddenly changed my mood is like Michael Jackson's uh, you know, albums and Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan's albums. So if I'm down sometimes you feel like I don't have energy these two bring an energy from I don't know from where I think they've, they've secretly put that in their music I think. and I feel so alive after that. I mean, no, there's no intake of any drug, uh, medicine or anything, but yeah. it, it, it changes the whole thing. I think music is a mix of a crutch for me. It's a expression for me. It's something that makes me wonder why we are here, where we are. It takes me to a higher realm for sure. Um, it's also something that grounds me. Uh, so, uh, it's also something that pushes me to be a better person and a better artist. It's also something that brings me closer to people I love. Uh, so uh, it's also something that makes me feel very vulnerable and I've found strength in vulnerability uh, because you sing from your heart and you, you, you sing things, you sing about, I, I sing about experiences that I've been through, whatever that may be. So when someone else hears it, I feel like, oh, they know everything about me. Uh, but that's, that's the reason why I make music is to make fe- people feel like they're not alone. Uh, so I think my music personally, the goal is to to reach out to the misfits out there, the people in society who feel like um, they're different in some like me. way. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and to uh, to bring bring us together because you know society teaches us so many things, and I think it's a matter of unlearning what we don't believe in. Did you get the sense sometimes that, I mean, that mediocrity gets together uh, when threatened by talent, phenomenal talent like yours? And did you feel that push uh, in Hindi cinema? Uh, (laughs) Actually, in a way, when I look at history, you know, um, people have this thing. They, They love somebody. They want to move on. <laughs> they want to move on. What's the next big thing? And what's the next big thing? So, and you see many amazing composers, singers left behind, even though they could have sung more. Then I look at the West. Then I look at Andrea Bocelli. I look at John Williams. Andrea Bocelli is singing for the past, what, 30, 40, 50 years. He's blind and he's one of the wisest. They, they respect his talent. And uh, from Italy, then I look at uh, Akira Kurosawa, who's in 80s and 90s, he was making, 90s, right? He was making amazing movies because he didn't care about what people who, the society didn't care about his age, but they just grabbed his talent. And uh, then if you look at John Williams, again, 80s, still composing with Star Wars. and So then I realized actually the trap, mental trap is within you. If you think you're aged, if you think you're faced out, you're faced out. But if you think if you can evolve and you think you can give more and adding all the experience and the strength and resources you have, then you excel. So it is a trap which society puts on yourself to make you feel like you're redundant and you're you're finished or anything. And I've seen many people in go to the trap and learn from that. It is not the trap which the society actually put down them, but they made it and then they trapped themselves. And uh, this is something I learned in the past 20 years. Well, luckily for me, every three years they say he's finished. <laughs> <laughs> you have any favorite lines from Hindustani? Way? Uh, I think the hook. The Hindustani way, har pal har dil ye gai. And also, uh, here we come, it's our time. In the hour, we're here to fight. I think that just, you know, puts the message right across that we're here. Uh, 
India were here to fight. And yes. uh, that uh, killer instinct that you were talking about, Shekharji, and that uh, what Sir was talking about, uh, that winning spirit right from when you wake up, I think it captures that. Rahman Sir, you have a favorite line from the India way? <clears throat> the sunny way? Yeah. yeah, I love the hook. And that's why we we put that at the beginning and we kept promoting that because hey hindustan i think um, when you use a word like hindustan like i've done uh, i've seen people use it also i've done in 1994 uh, mr ghai had one one song from a movie which never got made called shikar subhash ghai yeah in that you know that okay so in that we had mera hindustan mera it has something like that but uh, from that to this is a the major shift the way <laughs> the way hindustan is pronounced <laughs> so i love this uh, <laughs> i don't find uh, this age um, a problem because when i was young i worked with a lot of older people and that helped me to learn so much and i'm doing completely the reverse now when i get older <laughs> i feel like I mean, I work with the, the younger generation, or people with, um, you know, especially like she's got electro pop as her specialty. She's researched her. She's doing a lot of songs. I think it helps um, people like me also to grow to understand what the younger generation is thinking and what their choices are. And music is uh, never young or old, and we're all serving music. So in that, I don't see. um young boy i i see talent i see a gift of what god has given us a voice or uh, understanding of humanity or lyrics and love and so yeah that's one of the reasons why i feel like her voice is uh, really beautiful when it comes out in songs and then even in this one um i done the song and sent and she dubbed the voice and sent me and then i was fairly moved by the voice texture and i said okay let's record it again <laughs> Ananya, for fuddy daddies like me, explain what is electro pop, uh, and also tell us more about this movement that Rahman Sahab spoke about. Uh, I started my career with electro pop, and now sort of it's 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 changed a little bit. I think I've evolved as a person and and as an artist uh, to try to remove these labels out of my music because I think music. should touch people regardless of genre language um so uh, i think i was very fearful to sing in hindi because as a child many people made fun of my uh, my accent. pronunciations uh, and my accent so uh, i had to really uh, break through that internal it, it's been an internal uh, journey for me um so i think i've now i think i've broken the shackles of genre and language um so i would love to sing a spanish song if you if you want to guide me through that or a retro song so electro pop is basically just uh, very easy lyrics and uh, thumping beats and normally it has a drop uh, so it it drops into like a either it's like a bass or an 808 or um, you know so uh, that's basically what electro pop is um but my mo- my latest stuff my especially like the new album coming out it's uh, again just to put a label on it i would say it's pop r&b more than anything else i think i've just evolved as an artist and of course hindustani way is a is a i would say it's an iconic if i'm allowed to say so it's an it's an ar rehman iconic uh, mm-hmm. uh english song again to put a label i think basic spirituality is about you know killing ego and uh, there's a duality here if you kill your ego then why do you have to produce the best music ever <laughs> or why do you work to us so then you have to separate these two egos this personal ego and this, you know the professional um uh, ego professional uh, one is to sit there and say i want to make the greatest song ever with my capability is pull it put it to the fullest um, you know enable it fully and uh, the human potential and then if spirituality is enabling that that you can as i told you the mind is the in the nucleus of everything the mind can make a very strong person weak or a very weak person strong so if you can control the mind and that's what spirituality does to you and it gives you that inner strength and believe in the the unseen in the infinite and then how you can derive the strength from the infinite to yourself and and of course we all fight about which is infinite your infinite or my infinite <laughs> i think it's common one 
we all call with different names you know and um, so that's it <laughs>